This question says, when a lead acid car battery is recharged by the alternator, it acts essentially as an electrolytic cell in which solid lead 2 sulfate is re reduced to lead at the cathode and oxidized to lead 2 oxide at the anode. So it says, suppose a current of 85 amps is fed into a car battery for 81 seconds. Calculate the mass of lead deposited at the cathode. So what we need to do, first of all, is figure out what's going on at the cathode, the chemical reaction. So at the cathode, we have reduction occurring. In this case, we have lead 2 plus, which is, um, in this case, a solid. And it's forming into lead metal. And to have that happen, we have to add two electrons. So this is what's happening. Um, lead 2 plus is becoming lead. Now you could do this entire problem as dimensional analysis, but I do want to show you um, how to do it based on a couple of the previous examples on this playlist or previous problems you may have done on Alex. So the first thing I want to do is I want to figure out the charge that's required um, that essentially is given off with 85 amps for 81 seconds. And you'll recall that charge equals the current times the time. Well, in this case, the current is 85.0 amps, which is coulombs per second, times 81.0 seconds. And those both have three significant figures. So we get 6885, where that's the sig fig, coulombs of charge. We can now, with the balanced chemical equation, convert this to a mass of lead, believe it or not. What we want to do is we want to take the charge. We want to convert the charge to moles of electrons using Faraday's constant. Then using the balanced chemical equation, once we have moles of electrons, we can find moles of lead. And then using a periodic table, we can convert from moles of lead to grams of lead. So dimensional analysis at the beginning of the course and dimensional analysis again at the end of the course. So in this case, we have the charge, which we found from this equation. We need to convert it to moles of electrons. Faraday's constant tells us that 9.649 times 10 to the 4 coulombs is equal to 1 mole of electrons. So starting with our 6885, where that's the sig fig, coulombs times, we want the coulombs on the bottom so they cancel out, 9.649 times 10 to the 4 coulombs, and on top, 1 mole of electrons times, well, if we look at our balanced chemical equation, 2 moles of electrons will be used used to reduce one mole of lead 2 plus. But in this case, it will form one mole of lead solid. So we're just going to put one mole of PP because this is what we're going after. So essentially, two moles of electrons forms one mole of lead solid. Times, now we just need to go from moles to grams using the periodic table. We put one mole of lead on the bottom, 207.2 grams of lead on the top. Multiply by the top, divide by the bottom, repeat, 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 and you get to three significant figures, because this is three, 7.39 grams of lead that are formed when you apply 85 amps for 81 seconds in this particular example.